Hey, it's Kobe from KobeRot.com and this quick video I'm going to show you a quick overview of everything that you can do with my lightning QR okay of course you know um, you can do the the normal web address where you when they scan the QR code they're sent to uh, URL and of course you would enter that in here any URL that you wish here's some other cool stuff that you can do you can enter in an email address so that they uh, send in a an email, SMS number for text messaging, telephone number if you're doing offline and you want them to call you, plain text so you can put any message that you want to show up there, geographic location, you can enter in the latitude and the long, longitude, uh, ME card, you can put in all the information here, Android Marketplace, you can go search, package, you got different options in there. And then the last one is Wi-Fi configuration, and you have different options options there: WPA, WEP. You put in the SSID and the password. And then once you generate your, let's just let's generate a normal one, a normal uh, send them to a web address. Once you decide on what you want, you just put it in there and you hit generate code. And you see it changed it right there. Now, what you can also do is you can change the background. So if you want a different background color, let's say we want it yellow. There we go. So now the background code of the QR code is yellow. Let's say you want a bigger size. Uh, let's double it. Let's do 250 by 250. Okay. So there we go. It's set. If you want to copy to clipboard, it's there. You can save it as a BMP or save it as a JPEG by clicking on either one of those. So if you want to paste it into something, you would click copy to clipboard. And of course, if you want to save it to put on a website or something, then you would save it as a BMT or as a, as a JPEG. Alright, it's as simple as that, and that's all it takes. Alright, this is Kobe from KobeRide.com, signing off.